Hi, I'm Haley. I'm a team leader with Usborne Books and More, and I'm so excited to share with you some of our new titles for 2016. So I'm just going to try really hard to make this quick. Um, I want to be a lion tamer. Look how cute this book is. Or a vet, or a zookeeper, or a safari guide. And look at these illustrations. It has the cutest little boy and girl going through. I want to be a zookeeper. And um, they're just unique jobs. It's a good conversation starter. There's another one called I Want to Be an Astronaut. Love these two books that we got. Okay, this is another Lift the Flat Question and Answers book we got. What Makes It Rain? It's one of those flat books. Talks about the weather. It's a science book for preschoolers. Alright, I'm really excited about this new series. Billy's Underwater Adventure. It's written by Sally Rippon, who wrote um, the other Billy B books, the Billy B intro chapter books, the Hey Jack books, and the Billy B mysteries books. So it's the same character. This is Billy. She's just younger. And it goes, um, you can tell, look at the illustrations. There's fewer words. It's like, it's more of a, a picture book for preschool and kindergarten age kids before they're old enough to read their uh, Billy B chapter books. And then after they're done with those chapter books, they have Billy B Mysteries. So I love that as your child gets older, um, you know, you it, they can grow with Billy B. Brown. There's another book called Great Desert, Billy's Great Desert Adventure as well. Okay, seriously, look at how adorable this is. This, I'm assuming, is another series. This is the only one that was released, but it's called Peek Inside a Fairy Tale, Little Red Riding Hood. And look at this, the cutaways, the detail, I almost died when I got this book. It's so adorable. There's flaps and it's a simple way to share this fairy tale with younger children. Okay, five minute bedtime stories. Most of, it, most of us do not have the time at the end of the day to read a long story. Um, and so this is a good option if you're short on time. Five minute stories. It's uh, the puffy material, has a bookmark, and cute, cute illustrations, but it's just a, a few pages of a story, and then story's over. Um, but they're soothing, they're relaxing, and they're sweet stories right before bedtime. And there's also ten minute stories for um, older children. Now, a lot of you are familiar with our nonfiction beginner books. They're $4.99. It's a bargain for um, a nice hardback book with, you know, chock full of information about a certain topic or animal. These are two brand new ones, Pigs and Ants. Now, what I'm super excited about is those of you who um, have younger kids and don't really know if they're going to pay attention to this, welcome the Usborn Young Beginner Books. We got, um, so this is the first that we've heard of these books, so I'm assuming this is also another series going to start because there's baby animals and there is flowers, and you can see they're a little bit different than the other ones. They're just geared more towards younger children. I'm a Hungry Dinosaur. It's a spinoff to I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. These books are so rhymy and singy, and kids love to, to follow along, as well as talk along, sing along. A fun fact about the illustrations, they were made, the original illustrations were made with real um, chocolate frosting, cocoa, and sprinkles. Another beautiful picture book, Too Many Tomatoes, King Miller, by Eric Odie, and he is great with rhyming and rhythm which we know keeps kids' attention. And look how cute the illustrations are. It's about a grandma and grandpa who has too many tomatoes and their grandsons going through, giving them to people, figuring out what we're gonna do with them, talk about um, the importance of farmer's markets. Speaking of food, my first word book about food. We have two more, we, we got two more first word books. This and about me. Me and my husband are foodies, I thought, until I looked at this book and I'm like, uh, what is that? What is that? 
uh, which is kind of cool that we can go through and learn together, and my daughter will know more than we do about food. The one that we didn't really know. Um, I like at the end, it's the world, around the world. And we didn't know what this is. I don't even know how to say it. Anyway, cute book. Another one we're super excited about because my daughter loves the Lift the Flat books we have. We have the opposites and colors and shapes. This is numbers. Just like the other ones, lots of flaps, different games you can play. My favorite, I'll show you really quick, Busy Bus Stops. Okay, they're learning simple math with this, but it's so visual that they're going to be able to learn this early. Um, so it's a bus driving. What happens when one person gets on? There's two. Three more people get on. How many? Five. And then they get off. So it's subtracting simple, simple math. This is a wonderful activity book. There are, let's see here, stickers, drawing, puzzles, mazes. Great activity book to keep your kids busy. Another one that is an activity book, you call it, and so you can trick your kids into thinking they're having fun, but really they're learning times tables. Um, it goes through 2 to 12, and they learn, they do word problems and learn grouping. So, it's a really great one. Great little math activity book. Okay, this is one of our Discovery Adventure books. We have planes, helicopters, and survival, maybe a couple other ones, but this is the new one we got, drones. How cool are drones? Like, I don't even know very much about them, so I actually really want to look at this book and um, learn the origin of drones, look at the pictures. Lots of boys like this series and probably are going to really like this book. World of Shakespeare Reference Book. This is Explore the Life and Times of William Shakespeare with this lavishly beautiful picture book. See where he lived, how he worked, the dangers he faced, and discover the place he wrote and find out why he is one of the greatest writers the world has ever seen. The Story of Science. Usborne is super famous for their encyclopedias. This is a smaller version of a science encyclopedia. I can show you here. With all these tidbits of information, they have um, illustrations, which keeps older children's attention. I mean, I don't know if I, as an adult, actually feel like I learn more and recall information better when I have an image next to it. Um, this, it goes through scientific discoveries from DNA to asteroids to x-ray. A wonderful book. Okay, this is a journal book which I'm all about. A year in my life. Um, it's kind of a silly way to record every day. There's 365 prompts if you're a kid, but some of them are just goofy and funny. Um, draw yourself and your friends acting on the stage. Pretend your life is a play. So there are some that you can reflect. Draw what this baboon is staring at. Okay, we love our big books. This is Big Book of the Body and it has the four giant foldouts. I'll show you the skeleton, Mr. Skeleton Man, because my husband is into orthopedics. Goes through all the bones. The one on the other side is Muscle Man. And then taking a breath, digesting food, heart and blood. That's the food one. And then your senses, starting life. Um, as a psych major, I love that there's a brain in here. I'm talking about inside your head. What is inside your head? And all different parts of the brain. Okay, last but not least, we have three more Shine a Light books, which I am so excited about. There are bestsellers, Secrets of the Vegetable Garden. It's the flashlight book. So there's that one, there's On the Space Station, and Shine a Light on the Plane. I don't have time to open them all, so I'm just going to open this one. Um, 
This one starts with security. This is great for your kids who, like, say you're going on a, on a trip and they've never flown. You can give them this book and show them it, it starts with the check-in counter to the x-ray to getting on the plane, seeing uh, people outside, the control tower, takeoff, and it's a good one to take on your trip as well. Now, I um, love that at the end of all of these Shine a Light books, there's more information. So the age range for these books are really wide. It's a really good family um, series. Okay, well I hope you found something new that you like. Thanks.